So uh, the big question will be, what's your agenda for the people of Open State? Well, thank you very much, Shimon. Um, what we've done is um, we've articulated um, a vision and mission for the state. And um, under a few um, subheadings, and I'll just go through them and uh, discuss them with you. Um, uh, first, our vision for the state is to give Ogun State um, a focused and qualitative um, governance and create the enabling environment for a public-private partnership, which is fundamental to the creation of an enduring economic development and individual prosperity of all in Ogun State. That's our vision for the state. Um, That's your vision? Yes. Yes. So you want to work with private sector? Oh, yes. That, that partnership? Oh, yes. The public-private sector. I come from the private sector background. I'm sure you know that. So for us, uh, we appreciate that um, a public-private sector partnership is very critical to an enduring economic development of any state. For example, the IGR of the state was at some point less than a billion. Yes. Uh, over the last uh, five or six years, it's grown uh, into about three billion. It's grown more, a, actually more than that. More than that. Yes. So uh, what's your target? Well, we, from what we see um, um, in the horizon, um, and coming from the background that I do come from, uh, we believe that um, if we're able to conscious, consciously and willfully um, attract both local and foreign direct investors into Ogun State, um, and when I say willfully, I mean today you find there are a lot of companies in Ogun State. You have Olam that just opened shop. You have the breweries that just opened shop. You have uh, Dangote. You have, Lafa, you have every Fortune 500 company in Nigeria is in Ogun State. But you find out that most of them are in Ogun State not because they were, there was a willful attempt to you know, bring them in, to endear them to come in. They've come to Ogun State because it's convenient. It's very close to Lagos, and there's, the land mass is there, and the people are there. I mean, our greatest resource are our people and our land. Um, what my administration will do differently is that we will consciously um, ensure that we, we increase the ranking of Ogun State in the um, Global Ease of Doing Business Index, which is measured by how easy is it for you to come into that state you know, set up a business, you know, register a business, acquire land, um, employ people, resolve labor disputes, um, wind up a business, um, and so on and so forth. So, I mean, coming from that, you know, private sector background, I would, as the CEO of the state, I will ensure that I consciously, you know, make it such a pleasurable experience for you from once you indicate interest into coming into the state, we we'll make sure that even your experience in obtaining a visa, your experience at the airport, We'll create a one-stop shop for you where you don't have to go to multiple agencies to apply for land, to do this and to do that. And, and you don't also have multiple agencies doing different functions, you know. So it will be a pleasurable experience. It will endear you to come to Google and invest. So by so doing, you know, would, first of all, um, have created employment for our people, would consequentially also um, increase our revenue. So um, we, we will do that. And, and for us, on, this falls on our, our economic development plan. We are going to create industrial parks across the state. These industrial parks will have 24 hours on power supply. I mean, How do you hope to do that? Very easy. The power supply? Yes, very easy. I come from that background. I actually, you know, I have equity in the company that provides electricity in Lagos. So Ogun, you will use your, your private company to partner with the state government? Of course not, Ashio. Of course not. What I'm saying to you is that I would bring that experience of knowing how to do that. Basically, Ogun State benefits from having a pipeline that comes from war. It's called the ELPS. It goes through Ogun State and goes all the way to Agbara. That pipeline has natural gas in it. So what we need to do is take advantage of that and create industrial parks that will have infrastructure, you know, that will have you know, gas. we we'll put power plants there. So when you're coming as a business, you're coming into a park that provides you with, industrial, with, with uninterrupted power supply. Once power supply is removed from the worries of an investor, I mean, you can imagine. So that's what I'm saying to you, that we are not going to, we're not going, we're going to willfully bring people in. By so doing, I mean, I've employed most of unemployed youth. You know, by so doing, these power, these power plants, these, 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 these industrial parks, will not only be generating power for those parks, which will be, of course, in several hectares, but also will be providing power for the immediate environment. Because normally when you have an industrial park that's generating power, you have what you call the peak and off-peak hours. When the, when the, Factories shut down at night. You still have the power plant still generating electricity. So you still have ample power to give into the immediate environment. So by so doing, you find out that 
the cities of Ogun State in no distant future will enjoy stable electricity. In this race, you are perhaps uh, are in one of the toughest races that we will probably see in the history of Ogun State. A former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Demeji Bankole, is in this race. Uh, guy is here, as, uh, this is not his first time. And you'll be running against also uh, Akinlade, Honorable Akinlade, who is the APM, who knows the internal structure of your party. What are your hopes? Um, I think this race will be won by that person who is able to convince the electorate that he's capable of leading the state. And I think, are you that person? I, 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 I believe so. I believe that um, Ogun State um, citizens are very, very, very educated. They are, edu they are a very educated electorate. I mean, I must remind you that that's where Bafima Awolo comes from. I must remind you of the fact that we've had several presidential uh, um, um, uh, presidents from, from that state. So, so Wole Shenka is from there too. Wole Shenka is from there. Nobel laureate. You know, President Basanjo is still living from there. MKO is from there. Um, and a host of others. So we have a very educated um, um, electorate. And I believe that this race will be won by that person who is able to convince the electorate that he actually indeed has plans uh, um, that will be of benefit to the citizens of this state. And, and I believe that we do. And maybe that's the reason why some of the electorates are very critical about your education background. There's been a lot of issues about your certificates. Are you worried about that? Well, um, I'm not. Because she, there are no issues about my certificates. Um, however, because that matter is in court and talking about it will be subjudiced, I'd have loved you know, to clear the air on that. But I'm not. I'm constrained you know, by the fact that the matter is in court. But, but, but did you finish from University of Ife? I, I would prefer not to comment, but I can tell you that I never claimed to have finished from University of Ife at any point in time. I never did. But did you school in Ife? I did go to school in Ife. But you said some of your documents they, uh, shows that you say that you studied in Ife. Yes, I did. So what I happened? actually did. I went to school in University of Ife, but I didn't graduate in University of Ife. I never claimed to have obtained a degree from Ife. Well, some of your uh, profile reads that you graduated with a BA in accounting. But that's not from Ife. Yeah, that's the, that's the big question. And that's why people are questioning that. There hasn't been any, uh, no Bachelor of Arts uh, gives an accounting degree in University of Ife. No. Sheung, this has all been an attempt to, um, to, to, to mudsling and, and confuse the electorate, you know. Um, and it's, it's bundled with a lot of half truth. Um, I never claimed to study accounting in University of Ife. I never claimed to graduate from University of Ife. So this issue has been presented um, as the presenter wanted it presented. So what are the degrees that you have? Um, I do have a Bachelor of Business Administration degree in accounting. And I, and, and, and I would like to stop at that. From because school. this matter will be sub if I went any further. Because... Um, your INEC form for Senate in 2015 elections with sworn affidavit showed that you obtained a BBA in 1989. Is that true? She, when this, this, this matter is in court, and I'm not at liberty to discuss. I would love to, but I think that um, it would be inappropriate for me to begin to comment on a matter that um, the presenter has already taken to court. Your, I mean, your business admission degree, is it from Nigeria or from the United States? She, she, when this matter is in court. No, because it will be good I, I, I for must, a must, lot of the electorates, yes. millions of them who are watching right now who want to get clarity. Yeah. I mean, you owe that to the, the electorate, isn't it? I do. And the electorate know that I went to school. They know that I went to school. They know that I, I went to school. And I, I, do not, I, do not, I have not misrep mis misrepresented to anyone about my degrees. But it is, it's been convenient for those who are intimidated and afraid of my electoral success to continue to try, attempt to disparage me and to present the, the matter as falsely as it suits them. But that the facts are being distorted. But we'll leave the matter since the matter is in court. I don't okay. Want to uh, uh, just so that we round up now, what was your conversation? What did the president tell you on Friday? Um, is it confidential? It's taking you a lot of time. Uh, to no, I'm trying to be... 
because I, I don't want sure. to divulge what he told I, you. I'm not sure that um, discussion between the president and I is meant to be discussed on on channels um, uh, politics today. No, no, this is not. Um, this is just yes, a platform. Yes, yes. I mean, people should understand that this is just a platform for a vehicle for you to tell the people who you are going to who are going to vote for you what you have in plans for them. Yes. So they will want. I, to I would go. like to discuss that. So what exactly did the president tell you about your chances? The president, I didn't go to the president to ask him about my chances. I couldn't have gone to do that. It's not in the place of the president to tell me what my chances are. All I went to do was to... You raised your hand in a show of acceptance and support for you, isn't it? Well, I think that the raise of hands was to demonstrate to everyone that this is the APC gubernatorial candidate in Ugo State for the 2019 uh, governorship elections, period. Would you be liking or would, would you work to reconcile with Governor Muson? I am... Governor Musu is my governor. Um, I am positively disposed to reconcile him with everyone and anyone, particularly my governor. He's a governor in my party. I believe these issues are issues that are internal to our party. It's unfortunate that he has, he has, been, he has come to the public forum because we have our ways of dealing with our issues. But I'm sure that you know, at the right time, these issues will be reconciled. You probably will be willing to strike any deal with him just to pacify him, would you? Well, I... Um, I don't know what you mean by that, Phil. But what I'm saying to you is that I am open to reconciliation with everyone. I mean, come on. Mr. Dakwabiodun, I wish you the very best in the coming days. It's a pleasure talking to Thank you. you. And I know it, it, within now and uh, the next uh, few weeks, we'll get to talk to you again. And I, I wish you the to. very best. Thank, Thank, you, you, very so much much Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dakwabiodun is the governorship uh, candidate of the APC in Ogun State.